Hi, my name is Connor. Um, I study Level 3 Games Animation and Visual Effects at Nestor in association with NextGen. In terms of the game inside of the industry, um, it's learning how to how gaming programming works on how the concepts are, 3D models, and how all the coding inside the game actually compiles together to make a really well-known game like all the games that are out today. For animation and visual effects, you use a lot of programs like Adobe After Effects and Autodesk Maya um, and Mudbox and even Photoshop um, where we draw all the concepts that we've come up need to come up with for a specific scene that we need to shoot with this course that everyone can actually enjoy and like learn what they want to do through the teachers. They teach you from the very bottom so that you know all the basics and then they'll gradually help you get to a very advanced level and then to an expert level. The sanitary project for the H&D and Level 3 media groups uh, was, it was a big undertaken by them but they also need my group to help with visual effects because uh, the type of films that they were, they were post-apocalyptic we had to, the media lot had to ask us to make visual effect shots of uh, broken ships, broken cars, broken planes, and even uh, kind of um, destroyed landscape in total. In this course, the, some students um, can get offered an apprenticeship within the visual effects or the gaming industry, or even the film industry. When I finish, um, I plan on getting an apprenticeship in the visual effects industry because I would love to create visual effects for big budget films. That's kind of my five year goal. Cerebral palsy is a neurological condition. Um, where for me it's affected on my left side of my brain which is affected my right side of my body. So in terms of my work, um, I find it very tricky to press multiple keys on the keyboard. Uh, whilst using the mouse at the same time. Um, I do have a lot of external support on a weekly basis. They don't come into my class or anything as such, but there's a situation I don't know how to handle. I do approach them and ask for advice. But I try and do the best I can so that it doesn't impede or obstruct any of my learning in any way, shape or form. For anyone that's thinking about doing games and visual effects at, at the college, um, I would recommend asking anyone that they know who's done games and visual effects either as a profession or something that they've studied.